Welcome to the ding, 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 the view. So, lovely bright park where Amy will be sleeping tonight over there beneath, beside the carousel. It's so warm and beautiful out, I thought it'd be Actually, nice. Actually, there might be like a little chaise lounge on the carousel. Oh, well, that would be nice. I'll have Just a bring a pillow. Nice place to sleep. Tomorrow. <laughs> And miles and miles to go before I wake. What are these presents I see over here? Well, since you've been having a hard time, I thought I would bring these gifts that people have been sending. Now, people have been sending us gifts or giving me gifts to give to you, not necessarily because they were aware that you were having a hard time, but just because they wanted me to give you gifts. Oh, so, um, but it seems now like, imagine what it we're going like to rake it in. <laughs> it seems like now would be a good time to give to cheer you up. So this came from our. Uh, this came from our viewer, Claudia Gruwal, who lives in San Diego. I had dinner with her. Did you her open it when yet? I did not open it. Oh, I'm pretty. So, she, sent, she gave me this when she came to New York uh, maybe almost two months ago. I had dinner and you haven't with, opened it yet? No, well, she gave me one, so I, oh. did, I didn't need to open yours. Oh, because I opened mine. Ooh. Oh, are these little footies? Yes, the little footies. Oh, they're so cute. Pop Tart Pop footies. Pop Tart footies. <laughs> Who would have thunk? That's one of those things you don't know you need until you until you get it. It's good for the hands too. Good for the hands. What's good for the hands is good for the goose. Good for the feet. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, in San Diego. You know my brother lives in San Diego. And she sent you a cup. Right. So I can so I can stand in the corner and panhandle. <laughs> <laughs> my brother lives in San thanks, Diego. Thanks, Claudia. Yes, yeah, thanks, Claudia. Sweet. What's the next one? Well, um, Laura Bassange, she lives in Ireland, and she sent us a gift. She watches The View, and she wanted you to have these items. So, can I hock them? She, she sent you this Kinder Ooh, Chocolat, because she knows you like it. My teeth are just like his, right? She sent you... <gasps> oh, I love her to sport. Oh, Kinder Flakes. I love Kinder Flakes. So, it's some kind of Corn Flakes chocolate? Yeah, it's chocolate with, um, like, yeah, cor like, perfect. Not sure what Parma violets are. Oh, are they Parma violets? <laughs> Delicately perfumed violet sweet. I wonder if they're like those C. Howards. You know, I don't know, but candy. I love. But uh, she sent me the same gifts, and I love violet candy. So I thank you, Laura. The C. Howards you like? She the sent you. Uh, I'm not sure. I, usually, I have like the violetas, the Spanish ones here in New York. They're the rectangles. The C. Howards. They look like from the 50s. No, the ones that I get are usually come in a purple foil. Yeah. That's it? Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, in Spanish, we call them violetas. Yeah. She good. also sent you lipstick and some purple? eyebrow pencil or eye purple, liner. Purple, purple? Yes. Now, what is, it, what, is it, what is the cause of this largesse? I don't know. It's just, it's not a lot of largesse. It's just that I haven't I seen, I actually haven't seen Michael in probably Ooh, two months. Ooh, but this so, is a lot of largesse. One month I got a cup, and then a month later I got some chocolates. Largesse. So, yeah, well, when you're not used to people love you. Chocolates, you um, that's largesse. Mm -hmm. That's lots of largesse. You're loved. Oh, well, I needed to hear that right now. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Laura. Some, Thanks, Claudia. Thank you, Laura. And we Claudia. appreciate it. Sometimes I, loved I feel very both of your gifts. And it makes me want to live under a ridge. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that blue lipstick. Did you, now, did it go on blue really? I don't know. Do you have it a, a camera cover? Your contact? Try it on. Compact, what do I want to see? I don't have a compact. Well, I have an iPhone compact. On the new iPhone 10. Available today at the Al under, under the, the bridge. bridge. <laughs> the Apple Store under the bridge. <laughs> um, well, we're gonna try this on, and we'll be right back. We're gonna try this on during a commercial break, and come right back. All right. And now a word from our sponsor. Welcome, Welcome back, back to the Pew. To the Pew. Now, since I don't have a place, well, I do have a place to say I'm staying with a friend of mine in Chitoa and, and Kyoki. I've been staying with Kyoki and, and other friends. Um, but so I haven't been, had a chance to really go out lately. But I hear you've gone, you went to the Heavenly Bodies uh, exhibition. Yes, and um, 
the Heavenly Bodies exhibition at the Met. You should all go to it if you're coming to New York this summer. I think it's going to be up there for a couple of months. The uh, it's kind of like a half and half exhibition. Half of it is just clothes that priests would wear, but who cares about that? But the really well, fear, sometimes no, it's not that great. Uh-huh. It's stuff on loan from the Vatican, you know. All right, it's cute. But they, they're like Liber- the Liberace kind of their kind stuff. of, but not not as fabulous. Versace made their their capes, right? No, somebody but, famous made them. The red capes. The Pope's capes? Oh, was it the Pope's? Yeah, no, they're made by these convents in Italy. I, w- I'm, I was sure Versace made it. No, but there are Versace garments in the exhibition, and they are fierce. And there are also uh, garments by Dolce & Gabbana. There are garments by Terry Mugler. There are garments by Jean-Paul Gaultier. And these There's are a- all for the... For the, for the, for the uh- right, so like on the main floor, like in the area of the mat, they have this whole area where it's devoted to Gothic religious art. So in that area, they had all like the high fashion ma- uh, mannequins dressed, and they had these great, uh, it, this great dress by Jean-Paul Gaultier where the model is basically dead and she's lying in a coffin, and she's wearing this fabulous outfit with uh, body armor, like kind of like Joan of Arc. The wigs that they put on the mannequins were beautiful, like big white hair and big black hair coming out, like in big bolts. Gorgeous. The uh, the dresses by Dolce & Gabbana I didn't think were that great because it was kind of like Greek icon. You know, like how yeah, the Greek yeah, yeah. icons look. It's not, but in sequence. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, if you're into that, uh, I would, I would. my votes went to the Jean-Paul Gaultier uh, corpse and I, also to the... Uh, Dead on arrival. The Terry Mugler angels. You know, he had, there were two Terry Mugler angel outfits where the women, one was silver, one was gold. And like huge, you know, the, the, uh, wings they, were, they must have been vintage, shoulders. right? Yes, the Terry Mugler outfits were from the mid '80s. Because he doesn't make clothes anymore. No, no. And Jean Paul Gaultier's outfits, I think, were from the late '80s or early '90s. Anyway, if you can make it to New York to see that, I totally recommend it. It was beautiful. Made me want to go out and dress up. You know, I'm that very nice. Every time I, that when you describe the hair like that, every time I see something like that or a, or a new eyeshadow, I'm I'm thinking. How can they come, after all that's been done, how can they continue to come up with something new? And I guess that's where the big money comes in, because if you can do that, you're like in the big magazines or whatever. It's different. Right, well, I mean, you have to be a good, you have to be a good stylist. Um, yeah, but it's, it's different. Somehow, like, the person who designed the wigs there, like, made helmet wigs that had, like, big shocks of hair coming out of it, which was, I don't know what they used to form the hair, but... If well, only I knew, I would do that. Probably uh, yeah. stiff stuff or something, like one of those kinds no, of... No, 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 it's like way beyond stiff stuff. It looked way like beyond stiff stuff, beyond ladies and gentlemen, stuff. you heard it here. It had to be mm-hmm. like maybe starch, like, you know, like that spray starch that people used to spray on shirts. Oh, uh, with it, the, the dresses. With the, yeah. Right, right, just to make something so stiff that it looked like a helmet. Right. <laughs> That's what they used. It was it was awesome. I just loved it. And the one of the men uh, mannequins was wearing these fabulous boots that came up to the knee and they were high-heeled men's boots with the heel at least this high and the and were they made for combat <laughs> no they were <laughs> made yeah on the dance floor <laughs> which is where I would wear them <laughs> combat on those the dance are, floor. you know I didn't do not appreciate how difficult it is for women in high heel shoes till one Halloween when I, I I I never really dressed like a girl but that one year I dressed I wore actual uh, stilettos it's impossible well, since we are speaking about combat on the dance floor, I wanted to ask you, have you seen that show Pose on Netflix? Mm, I've heard about Everybody's it. Everybody's talking about it. It's called, it's spelled uh, P-O-I-S-E, right? No, it's called P-O-S-E, I believe. I think it's Poise. No, it's not Poise. It's called Pose. Pose, P-O-S-E. But then there's another show called Poise. Oh, is it about no. drag queens? Yeah, the one, Pose is about drag queens, and it's about the ball culture. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and then there's another one called Claws, isn't there? That's different. That's like straight bitches being mean to each other. It's, a, it's about the house culture, though. Right? I don't think it's about house culture. I just think it's like bougie bitches. But drag queens? No, they're not drag queens. Oh. They're straight women. Oh. We're going to have to do some investigating on this. Claws, pose, and boys. Oh, boys are undergarments for old people. So you haven't watched it? No. Why not? I'm living under a bread. You know... I'm what, t- there's no Wi-Fi? I'm, I'm talking to my friend Aiden about this, and she's like, I'm telling her what's going on with me, and she's like, oh my god, have you seen the new episode of, you know, I don't know what, and I was like, um, Aiden, did you not hear that I'm living under a bridge? And she said, they're available on, on your phone. <laughs> yeah, and you, it seems to be working, so why haven't you watched it? Because I'm spending all my time trying to be at, a, to, to, at appointments on time, and, oh, and finding new apartments, which I think I found one. Well, I would say that, um, 
suppose I watched the first episode and maybe the second episode, but I kind of lost interest in it very quickly because I decided that, you know, I already lived the Paris is Burning days, like in the late 80s. Like, I, I never really liked hanging out with a lot of those queens anyway. They were all mean. Mm. So, Not all I didn't them. necessarily enjoy watching a show about them. People like Stephanie Strawberry. Was Stephanie Strawberry, would you consider her part of that scene? I don't remember Stephanie Strawberry. Oh, my God. The sort of um, large Stephanie Strawberry. Was um, she black or white? She was... Oh, um, you're talking about the Latina? Not Angela Bumblebee, but... You're talking... <laughs> yeah, Steph, Fat Stephanie, who yeah. used to work on yeah. Turn Tricks yeah. in the meat market. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't realize her last name was Strawberry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, um, because she was always nice. And Ava, you remember no, Ava? She was nice. Yeah, I remember Ava, too. I spoke to Ava yesterday. Ava's crazy, though. <laughs> well, I last time I saw her, she got kicked out of a club. When was that, though? Like a year or two ago. For what? For being drunk and obnoxious. Well... Aren't we all? I mean, <laughs> that's not crazy. <laughs> I well, mean, I mean, you got to get pretty drunk to get kicked out of a club. Was she conscious? Um, I, vaguely. I mean, I just remember her getting kicked out. Well, I, she was always very nice. To me. No, I, I mean, I think she. I thought she was nice too. Yeah, I like. I like Eva. Um, because because she asked me to move in with her. So there were <laughs> two two queens back from the ball days that were actually nice. But the rest well, were Well, no, there were more. No, there were more. more but, but generally, they were... I, I, I would say, like, it was maybe 25% nice, 75% mean. Yeah. That's a, that's, that's a percentage that I, I'm comfortable um, co-signing. Okay. See you next time. Bye. I'm looking at Pose and Poise. <laughs>